assalamu alaikum friends uh, in this video we are going to add uh, a new field in product farm view through our custom add-on in some in one of the previous video we have already discussed and added a, a field in odo model and then in the farm view through uh, the debug mode so we will uh, just remove this and we will add it again through uh, our custom add-on so let's remove this one and then save it so that we can edit uh, through our custom module <laughs> so we have removed it so uh, in the last video we have added uh, a custom uh, empty module and uh, in this video we are going to add our custom add-ons path to Udo's uh, uh, path so that we can install it and add custom uh, fields so what we are going to do uh, we have already created uh, a config file for uh, this uh, odoo instance which is odoo.conf and where it is it is inside the debian directory so we will uh, go to uh, debian directory and then uh, odoo.conf so what we will do we have uh, defined the add-ons path here so these are the Odo standard and default add-ons. We will add our custom add-ons path, which is a custom add-ons. So if you want to add multiple add-ons path, you can just uh, add it. Uh, uh, you will have to add a comma and then an other add-ons path, which is custom add-ons. So this is our custom add-ons path, and then if we uh, restart it and then go to odoo and then go to apps and then uh, for the first time you will have to click this option update app list if you added a new uh, custom item update app list and update it and then uh, search for it so we can see our uh, custom uh, Udo add-on uh, in Udo uh, so in this way we can add a custom add-on path in our Udo uh, config file so in this uh, video we are going our focus is to add a, a custom uh, a custom field in Udo product model and then in the form view. So what we have to do, we have to first check uh, the model where we want to add the custom field. Uh, click the products and then click here. So how we can check the model of this uh, view? We, we have to first activate the debug mode we have already activated it so uh, we will just directly check it go to the products and then uh, this one and then you can see here the uh, model name like model is equal to product or template this is one way to check it and another way for example if you are or any of the field you will see uh, all the detail against this field and then you will see object product or template so the model name is product or template so we will inherit this uh, model and then we will add our custom so for inheriting first we have to uh, import the Udo uh, module from Udo import models we have to import models fields mm. inherit uh, product or template model what we will do uh, we will define the class product template models and model and here we will write the keyword inherit and then uh, we have to write the model name product dot template so in this way we have inherited the model and we will add a custom field like computer generation is equal to field start 
there are uh, multiple fields types uh, like uh, char integer float uh, relational field like many to many so we will define it uh, later and in this video we are just focusing to add a custom field so i will just add a char field here i have to define the string uh, string means the label of the field is uh, computer generation so this is it and uh, after that uh, we have to create a view for uh, this to add uh, to add this field in the view so what i will do i will create an xml file inside the view directory click file and uh, product extension dot xml this is the to edit and uh, click cancel and here we will add uh, the pattern we need to follow is um, utf8 and then odo and then data so these are uh, we have to define this to initiate the xml file and then we need to add the udo tag inside the udo tag we need to define the data tag and then inside the data tag we have to define all our xml views menus and action so we have to add this uh, this xml file inside the uh, manifest file is uh, we have added the data uh, keyword here so this means that we need to define all the xml file here like this one so inside the code we need to add the full path like uh, views and then product extension dot xml and then comma so uh, in order to uh, inherit the view what uh, we will do we will first check the xml id of this uh, view uh, click the debug uh, icon and then click edit view form so this is the external uh, this is the external xml id uh, and copy this one and then uh, inside the add-ins search for it in order to search this external id inside the udo addons right click and then find in path uh, and then uh, paste it here it will show all the uh, um, files so what we have to do we have to uh, search for uh, not for py but for xml file so this is the view that we need to inherit so just copy it copy it and then paste in our xml a uh, product.xml product extension.xml file so properly format it like this one so this is the product form view that we need to uh, inherit but uh, we will do we'll just uh, modify its name as uh, product or uh, we will just mention as ODO discussion and we will modify the name as OD. this is the product template I will remove this as a primary and then we just don't need the priority also so this is the uh, uh, inherit id field which uh, we need to use to inherit uh, a view so this means field name is equal to inherit id and reference is equal to product or product template form view uh you can copy it from the xml view for example uh you need to go to the view 
this is the uh, external id we need to copy it and how you can find this for example i want to uh, see the external id of this view uh, and click the edit uh, click the debug option and then edit from if you want to find the uh, form view external id then you can find it like this copy it and then paste it here so product is the module name and product template is the view that we have inherited and then uh, double quote and close so uh, i just need an empty view so that i can in uh, add the file after that we need to find the position that where we want to add uh, our our custom field i want to add it after the uh, internal reference which is a default code so what i will do i will uh, add field name equal to default code and here i have to add a position that if whether i want to add it before default code or after i will add after and then inside this tag i will add our custom field our custom field name is uh, computer generation and then closing tag so after means that i want to add it after the uh, internal reference field this is the internal reference field okay default code so let's us just install this uh, module and then let's see what uh, are the effects so restart it go to apps and then and then click install so if we just open the module info you can see the sales extension this is the uh, module name and uh, by Udo discussion this is the author name so uh, and you can see the version and uh, a technical name also click the install button to install this uh, module so it will install and reload it, the view so go to sales module and then click product and then open any of the product so you can see the computer generation field has been added here so i will just add uh, data like eighth generation and save so you can see it so in this way you can add any custom field or uh, any customization you can do it like this uh, and uh, you can develop uh, any custom items like this so guys uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel please uh, subscribe our channel this will uh, really help us uh, to uh, bring some more interesting content for you guys thank you